hello everyone my name is vikas and in this session we're going to talk about the block structure which we have in a bitcoin blockchain so in the last video we talked about the very generic structure which we used to have in a block in a blockchain uh, but in this session we're going to talk about only the block structure which we have in bitcoin so this is uh, confined to bitcoin blockchain only this is not uh, applicable to other blockchains so as we discussed in the last video the block will have two major portion one is a block header and second is the transactions so in the block header we talk about the previous block hash the merkle root hash difficulty nonce value then timestamp and other things also and we have talked about the concept of merkle tree so before you jump to this video uh, so my recommendation is that you should go through two session first of all you should be knowing the uh, concept of merkle tree and second thing you should be aware about the basic block structure which we have in a blockchain so once you go through this two videos i would uh, then you can go over this video here we discuss about uh, specific to the bitcoin here so in this video uh, and in this blog in case you want to read through this blog you have this link you can note down this link or i will share this uh, link in the video description where from where you can go over this blog post so this blog post talk about that uh, high level overview of block structure for a bitcoin so this diagram talk about all the things if you can see here in a block i will have block size i will have a block header i will have a transaction counter and i will have a transactions okay and one thing which is missing here which should be here is a magic number so every block will have a magic number then block size header transaction counter transactions then it will be get stored here so this is the block structure so every block in a bitcoin will have this elements so total five elements in a block right then block header will have a six elements as you can see it will have a version previous block hash merkle root hash timestamp difficulty and nonce so we will discuss about this structure in this session uh, one by one we will explain you this uh, all the idea about this one here and we show you that how it works and what is uh, significance of each value which we have in a block so first of all we'll talk about the block overall block here so as i just mentioned that the block will have total five elements let's me go down here so block elements will have a magic number it will have a block size block header transaction counter and transactions so let's talk about all these one by one what is the magic number so magic number will always have a fixed value in a bitcoin block as i just mentioned down in this post the value will be always this one now the question comes at what is the magic number right so you people might be wondering that what what is all about this magic number why this is being used so i have taken one example to explain this one okay so magic number is used in this example which i have explained in this blog also let's take one example we have three type of files uh, the first type of files are known as f1 files second type of files are known as f2 files and third type of files are known as f3 files and this file is being exchanged between two person person 1 and person 2 so person 1 is sending all three type of files to person 2 so now the requirement is that as soon as a person to receive the files so there are three folder he is maintaining from his side f1 type of file should be moved to a folder 1 f2 type of file should be moved to folder 2 and f3 type of file should be moved to folder 3 so this is the requirement which we have now the major challenge come here that how the person 2 will come to know the file which he is receiving it is of f1 type or f2 type or f3 type so he has he need to have some sort of this thing uh, he need to have some sort of method to identify that the file which is he is receiving it is a, a which type basically right so how he will check so this magic number will help here so what we have done we have defined a magic number for each type of file like 1 to 3 is a magic number for f1 type of file 3 4 5 is a magic number for f2 file or or 456 and 789 is magic number for f3 type of files so whenever person once one will send a file f1 type of file he will add a magic number to it this like okay this is 1 2 3 type of file 
so from that magic number the person two will identify that okay this is type uh, f1 or f2 or f3 and based upon that it will move the file to the corresponding folders so this is how the magic number will be helpful okay so this is the very first elements which we have in a block uh, header uh, in the total overall block basically in a bitcoin second is block size so block size is on an average is a 1 mb for each blockchain uh, uh, in each block in a bitcoin so this is the size of your block third is a block header which will uh, further has six element which we'll discuss in the going forward in this session so the transaction counter is at it will tell you that how many transactions are there in a block so generally uh, one block contain around 500 transaction in a bitcoin so this will be around value around 500 and then transaction will be the all the transaction which is being stored in a block right so this is a, a total five elements which we have in a bitcoin block now this is at the high level in the block now another important thing is a block header so block header as is shown above here it will have a version previous block hash muckle root hash timestamp difficulty and nonce value let's try to understand this one okay so version uh, is the very first element which we have here so version try to talk about that uh, like uh, currently we are using 1.0 version suppose okay maybe if going forward we will use uh, version 1.1 or 2.0 that is the version all about so every block will have a have a uh, version in the block header now the previous block hash we already talked about in the last video so this blockchain is nothing a combination of blocks which is chained together so how this blocks are chained together every block will have a reference of previous block hash so this is how these blocks are chained together uh, with the exception of genesis block because genesis block is your very first block in a blockchain so apart from that block all the other blocks in the blockchain will have a reference to previous block hash so this is how the uh, this is why the blockchain is known as the immutable blockchain so then third thing is the merkle root hash so as we already discussed in the merkle tree uh, video what is about merkle root hash see all these transaction is get stored in form of merkle tree and from there we'll get a merkle root hash so that will be get stored in a block header right so then timestamp is a current timestamp which all the block header will have in that one then difficulty is helpful for mining as we already discussed in the last video so whenever people mine the block in a bitcoin they use the resources to solve a mathematical puzzle so general block size block uh, timing in a block is 10 minutes in every 10 minutes a new block is get mined in a bitcoin blockchain so this difficulty is being set based on the mining if a block is taking more time to get mined this will uh, get uh, changed to less value but if his uh, mining is going very fast so they will increase his value as high difficulty will be set to high value so this is the difficulty target which we have in a block header the nonce is also helpful in the mining uh, so whenever you do a mining in a bitcoin so what happened that you have to generate a block hash which is starting with 10 digit or 10 zero values right uh, so to generate that uh, hash which starting with 10 zero value you have to perform some mathematical uh, computations you have to make a com combination of uh, this all these six elements and generate a hash which has 10 zero in the starting so this nonce is an integer value which miner will use uh, to perform like first of all they will use the value as one suppose they will perform a competition they will check what hash they have received that will that hash will not have 10 zeros in the starting they will use value as two then five then ten until they they come to one hash which has 10 zero value in the starting so this is how this value is being used in a bitcoin blockchain so again uh, this is how the block structure look like in a bitcoin uh, so again uh, there are two type of client which we have in a bitcoin full client and light client full client download block header plus transactions to the your system but light clients only download the block headers when they will connect to the blockchain so this is how these clients are being used in a bitcoin block hopefully uh, you like this video and uh, you get some idea about the block structure which we have in a bitcoin thanks for watching